There are already a lot of videos online that tell you about things you can put in the car to keep your children entertained during a long car trip. In this short video, I'm going to give you things that you need to know to make it easier and more peaceful, low stress, organized, and how to keep your car more clean when you're on a long trip with kids. That's all coming right up. So we went on lots of long car trips when I had young children, and I had nine children in case you don't know that. Here's some things I learned to make it easy, low stress, peaceful, organized, and clean. I'm going to be giving you some good suggestions, and if you need to know where any of the things are, you can see those things in the links below. Number one, do not overpack toys. I saw a video where a mom had several different baskets full of toys and games, and she said that each one of these toys is gonna keep her children occupied for a full five minutes. I thought that sounds like a complete nightmare to me. That means every five minutes, she's gonna need to change out those toys, and that's for just one child. So if she has two or three children, every five minutes, she's gonna have to move the toys around. That doesn't sound like a peaceful and low stress trip to me. When your kids know that there's lots of toys, they tend to use each toy less. In other words, they get through that quickly and they're ready for you to hand them another toy. Instead, make sure that you pack only a few things for each child and that each one is compact and doesn't have a lot of detachable parts. Number two, toys should use imagination and creativity. For example, how much imagination can be done with a toy truck? Maybe if they're on the floor with blocks, they can run the car along the floor or maybe underneath the furniture and so on. But that's not the same thing as when they're in the car. So a toy truck would be an example of a toy that might not be as useful in the car. Some better choices would be those books that have water pens that just you just put water in the pen so that you can do water coloring without any paint. Magnetic storybooks or story scenes like doll houses or dress the dolls or trucks or whatever. Magnetic puzzles or games. And if they're old enough, writing activity books with dot to dots and mazes and so on. It's also good to let them choose one toy that's not in any of those categories, like maybe a stuffed animal to hug while they're sleeping in the car or a blanket or something like that. Other than that, really don't allow all those other kinds of toys. That is how you can keep your toys to a minimum. Number three, no noise toys are best. If you want a peaceful experience, no noise toys are definitely best. Remember, a car is a small space with several people in it. There will be enough noise just with voices. Toys don't need to add to that. And there are plenty of other things that they can have that don't make noise. Number four, bring tethers. Especially if you have little ones with toys, sippy cups, or binkies, tethers save lots of fussing. They will keep you from stressing about when your child drops something and you can't reach back and pick it up for them. These also save you from losing things like under the seats or in between the seats or behind the car seats. The tethers are great. Number five, audiobooks. Even when your children are occupied with toys or books, it can bring a fun atmosphere to the whole group if you're listening to a story together or to songs that everyone can sing along with. It's good to get some from the library so they'll be new to the children, but I do also suggest that you take a look at them and listen to them ahead of time just to make sure everything in them is appropriate. Number six, electronic devices and earphones. Of course, having a screen is a perfect way to keep children entertained in the car, but you don't want to overdo it. If you're going on a long trip, you can let them know that they can earn screen time by good behavior in the car. So for instance, if they are good for an hour in the car, they will get maybe 20 or 30 minutes of screen time. Then you can allow them to play the games or hear the stories or whatever and look at them on the screen, but don't forget the earbuds. Number seven. Allow them to earn a movie time. Do the same thing with movie time. If all the children behave themselves in the car, let them know after a certain period, say halfway through the trip or so, then they'll all get to watch a movie together. Number eight, keep snacks contained. 
The absolute best thing to do about food on a long car trip with kids is to individually separate snacks into small Ziploc bags ahead of time. One of the things I like the best about the Ziploc bags is I can just hand them out to the children and I know I'm pretty much done. All they do is throw them away. If you think about it, little ones already require us to carry enough stuff, right? You got the diaper bag, you got your purse, you got your luggage, you got their luggage, you got their jacket, you got the kids themselves. You don't need extra containers. The small investment in Ziploc bags is well worth it for the trip. Number nine, get disposable bibs. Speaking of disposable, these are wonderful. I used to grab a few when I went to McDonald's just to have some in the car. You can order even better ones online though. They are so great because they have pockets that catch the little crumbs and any liquid that spills. And then instead of having a yucky bib that you have to take to the laundry and clean it or put it in a bag and it molds on your trip or whatever, all you have to do is throw it away. Disposable bibs are totally worth it when you're out of town with little ones. You'll find some good ones in the links below. Number 10, bring trash bags. This is essential to every car with kids. Have several plastic bags to dispose of trash and do it each time you stop for a meal or for a break. Collect trash as you go and teach the children not to put their trash on the floor, but to ask for the trash bag or to grab it and to put their trash in it as soon as they need to. This is one key way to keep your car clean as you go. And here's a side note. I would also suggest that you get some of those disposable vomit bags. If you don't know what those are, you can see those in the links below. But I used to get those at the hospital sometimes, especially when I take a child and they were sick and they might vomit, they'd give me these disposable vomit bags. Those are great to have on trips. And especially handy if you're on the highway and you hear those horrible words, I don't feel good. You'll be glad you had those ready at that moment for sure, if you know what I mean. Number 11, use elastic and Velcro. Make it easy on yourself. Make sure those shoes are Velcro, that you don't have to tie them or do the buttons or all the other stuff that you have to do with the shoes. And make sure the pants are easy to take on and off. Don't get the snaps and the zippers and the buttons and all that kind of thing. Make it easy on yourself and use Velcro shoes and elastic waisted pants. These are your friends. But above all, make sure that you have a great plan for training your children how to behave in the car on short trips so that when they go on long ones, they'll already know how to behave. And if you don't know how to do that, there's another video. Just click on the card on the screen now. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that. Parents, you can do this. Thanks for watching.